टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर्स इंसुलेशन टेस्ट एंड द रेजिस्टेंस टेस्ट टुडे वी विल डू द इंसुलेशन टेस्ट ऑफ दिस इंसुलेस ऑफ दिस इंडक्शन मोटर सो दिस इज ए थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर सो लेट मी ओपन द टर्मिनल बॉक्स यू कैन सी हियर देर आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स टर्मिनल्स आर देर एज यू नो यू वन यू टू वी वन वी टू डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू डब्ल्यू टू देर आर सिक्स टर्मिनल्स वी आर गोइंग टू चेक द इंसुलेशन ऑफ दिस मोटर एंड ऑल्सो वील चेक द रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू ओके द रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू इफ इट इज ओके और वीक वेल सो हाउ वी नीड द मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट सच एज वी हैव वन वी हैव वन इंसुलेशन टेस्टर सो दिस इज ए यूनिटी इंसुलेशन टेस्टर सो Uh, 1000 voltage range so i will use this tools for insulation testing and for continuity testing that means resistance testing i will use this uh, multimeter you can use any one as per your uh, your availability but i have this instrument we will check so first of all we need to understand about the terminal okay so as you know for three phase induction motor so there are six terminal called u1 u2 v1 v1 v2 w1 w2 okay well so if you want to start the motor by dual starter you need to sort each other sort each terminal for starting with dual starter if you want to start with star delta starter then you have to separate all of the individual uh, terminal okay so for insulation testing we will use this instrument okay so first we will carry out the insulation testing well so as you know i will just i will draw here the six terminals Okay, for easy understand, you will get to know there are three terminal called U1, U2, V1, V2, W1, and W2. We will uh, we will uh, check the resistance of U1, V1, and W1. So U, V, W also you can say one to two, V1, V2, W1 say W2. So just remember one thing. So according to NETA, NETA means. Uh, international electrical testing associations if the resistance value is below than 2 mega ohm that means our motor is not in good condition we need to do the insulation okay well so just i am starting uh, okay so this is my insulation testing there are two lead okay so one of the one of the lead will be connected uh, with uh, earth another one will be connected with line okay so it's ready for uh, testing that one will be connected with earth and one by one three i will do okay so just i have connected with terminal then i will put 1000 voltage as you know for three phase equipment we need to put 1000 for single phase we will put 500 voltage so this is a three phase equipment that's why i am putting in 1000 voltage i have to press test button just check okay so uh, the u1 the resistance value is 5.50 giga ohm okay so again i will test another one okay also it is 5.50 giga ohm okay and last winding i am going to check so let me connect it okay so i connected yes this is also 5.50 giga ohm okay so you can see here our resistance value okay so from winding to the body is 5.50 giga ohm as you know 1 giga ohm is equal to 1000 mega ohm okay so 5.50 into 1000 5500 mega ohm that means our resistance our insulation is very good as i told you if the resistance according to neta okay so if the resistance below than 2 mega ohm that means our motor is not good so but our resistance is now is 5500 mega ohm that means our motor is in very good condition okay so that is we checked about the insulation test as we test so it is passed that means our motor is uh, is very good condition and it has very good insulation so now we are going to check the resistance test okay in the resistance test 
as I told you, I will use this multimeter uh, to check the resistance between each winding. Okay, so I am going to connect the lead. There are two lead you can see here. One lead will be connected with uh, common. The black one will be connect common. Another one will be in another uh, voltage and resistance things. Okay, so let me take the one. Okay, so now I am going to check the resistance between u1 to u2 v1 to v2 w1 to w2 v1 to v2 w1 to w2 so according to the the process the resistance should be same okay so i'm putting okay resistance should be same for all the terminals okay so let me check with u1 to u2 okay u1 to u2 the resistance is 6.6 ohm okay so i am writing here u1 to u2 6.6 ohm now i'm going to check between v1 to v2 okay v1 to v2 okay so it will take some time So it is also 6.6.7 ohm. Okay, so I am taking the exact exact uh, uh, value 6.7 ohm. So now I am going to check between the resistance of W1 and W2. Okay, yes. How much? It is also 6.7 6.7 ohm. Okay, so as I told you, the resistance between U1 to U2, V1 to V2, W1 to W2. Okay, so they are, the resistance is same. 6.7, 6.5, 6, it is, you know, point pine can be varied. It's not a big deal. Okay, so the our resistance also, all the resistance between winding are same. Okay, so that means the resistance of the winding are very good condition. Okay, so and also insulation also very condition. So that is how you can check the resistance. Uh, you can check the resistance and insulation of this motor by uh, using of a simple multimeter and insulation tester. I hope you understood what we discussed. If you have any question, concerns and suggestions, please write in the comment box. Thank you very much. Please like and do share.